those behind the security crisis in Nigeria exposed by Matawale. Barely two weeks after Bono State Governor Babangana Zulum alleged sabotage in the military fight against insurgency, his Zamfara counterpart, Dr. Mohamed Belu Matawale, has also accused some power-seeking politicians of benefiting from the nation's security challenge, particularly in the northern part of the country. In recent time, the northern part of the country has continued to face one security challenge or the other. Why the northeast states contend with insurgency, the northwest as well as some parts of the north central battle banditry and kidnapping. Governor Zulum had, while on an inspection visit to the IDP's camp in Baga, Bono State, come under attack from suspected Boko people fighters. And in a reaction to the development, the governor, among other things, said there was sabotage within the military. Motawale, and speaking in similar tone on Tuesday, Zamfara State Governor Motawale said some politicians were benefiting from the increasing wave of security challenges facing the nation. He spoke at the Special Army Super Camp 4 in Faskari Town in Katsina State. The governor was of the view that some notable politicians were exploiting the poor state of security the nation currently contends with and rushed to the media to slam the military. Although the governor did not name those people, he said this class of politicians we are making some political fortune from the escalating security challenge and therefore wanted the status quo to remain. Contrary to the belief in some quarters, the governor said the politicians we are only on self-serving mission and not standing up for the people or even the efforts of the military. These unscrupulous politicians would hardly commend the military for their successes at the battlefront. However, they would be eager to rush to the media to report attacks by bandits or other miscreants. For this crop of politicians, politics is not about genuine commitment to the well-being of the people. It is all about power and nothing more, the governor said. Speaking further, he said, let me at this point stress that the issue of security is everyone's concern. Safeguarding and ensuring security is not just the responsibility of Mr. President, the governors, the service chiefs and security apparatuses, but that of every patriotic citizen. In fact, we the politicians are to be blamed for the intractable security challenges bedviling our communities. It is evident that some politicians exploit insecurity for political gains. Why urging the security agencies to deal decisively with anyone found politicizing the nation's security, no matter how highly placed, the governor said. It is by so doing that we can significantly address the current security challenge confronting not just the Northwest but the entire Federation. He lauded the Nigerian Army under the leadership of Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Yusuf Ratai, for consistently being at the forefront of the fight against insecurity. He said there was need for regular training and exercises to project the military powers and the personnel morale to inspire confidence in the public. I am particularly pleased to note that the primary objective of exercise 
Sahel Sanity is to enhance the combat readiness of our gallant army to root out banditry and various crimes in the northwestern part of the country. Thank you for listening to this news. Of course, Matawali is very much right. Very much right. The people behind this uh, this attack, this day-to-day -day attack, are very much in the government. They are the politicians. They are the one in government. They are the senators. They are the governors. In fact, they are the one in government. They are only playing a complete face-off in order not to be noticed. Hmm. But then, no matter how they try to hide their faces, one day, they will be gotten. One day, hmm, they will be caught. They should continue. They should continue using Nigeria as a business center. They should continue extorting. They should continue with their devilish and evil acts. One day, they will equally go down. Have they forgotten? Have they forgotten how the leader of Boko people was killed? He was killed by the same Boko people. So definitely, the same people that was consulted by them would be the one to kill them. These Boko people never assembled themselves. These people in government, the person in charge, the sponsor, is the one that gathered them. And he has a reason for that. And the reason is best known to him. And one of the very good reasons is to extort from Nigeria. And that is what the person is doing now. That's what he's doing. He should keep it up. The world are watching. And that is the reason why I will really want to use this medium to commend um, President Mobari this time for the availability of this, uh, of this modern equipment for our Nigerian army. But that will be completely and proper, properly used if the, uh, the, the sponsors of these Boko people will not go and sabotage or pass information to, their, to, 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 the, to, the, to the uh to the Boko people to strategize. So my viewers, what do you think about all of this? Please, you're willing to comment to this issue, all right? So your comments concerning this issue are very much important. Don't hesitate to leave them behind. Click on the subscription button as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.